here we have two plates, both containing media. But we have two very different growth characteristics here. On the right hand side, we have a, a very typical germinated seed with lots of leaves coming up. Again, it's been three weeks, so we have some true leaves growing in here, stems and all that stuff. On the left hand side, we don't really have the same sort of characteristics. But what we do have is something unusual, if you look underside of both plates. Look at both the cases. You can see that the roots are very, very different. So let's try to think about why that might be. Are these plates, in fact, the same or not? Okay, so here are the roots I showed you earlier. The weird seedlings that have huge, enormous roots. And so I've kind of turned one of them around a little bit so. I can tell you right now that this feels pretty solid. Okay. And as you can see from the microscope camera, it is has many fine hairs on it. So there are very fine roots there. But the rest of the structure almost feels like a callus. It probably is actually. So Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And we can move this around a little bit. I'm going to show you a different part. So I'm going to have some roots. Lots of little hairs, which is very common. Root hairs allow the plants to extract as much nutrition as possible from their surroundings. I'm going to lower this thing a little bit so that we can zoom a bit more. Visible. And again, these nearby structures seem very odd, especially compared to what you saw from the other seedlings. Okay, so again, we have some green growth, but very little production after the shoots and the cotyledons. We don't have much more than this. Okay, so we do have some greenery developing initially, but once they developed, that was it. It seemed like the plant got stuck in terms of the development and focused all of its energy on generating these roots. Think about what that can mean about this plate and the composition of this plate. Okay?